In this example, we'll be calculating the energy E associated with a radio wave of wavelength lambda equals 7 centimeters. So anytime we need to find energy associated with a wave, given its wavelength or frequency, we would end up using E equals HC over lambda, since this is the equation that relates the energy with the wavelength that's given. So we'll go ahead and plug in the numbers that we have. We have a value for h, that's Planck's constant, and it has a value of 6.62 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules times seconds. Then we also have the value for c, which is the speed of light, and that's also given in the problem as 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. We also have a value given for lambda, which is 7 centimeters as given in the problem. So we go ahead and plug in the numbers we have, so we'll get 6.62 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules times seconds times 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second all over 7 centimeters. But now we run into a problem because generally when we're doing these equations, we want to make sure that the units that we're plugging in will work together. So we have a unit of meters up here and a unit of joules in here, which also has meters in it. So this centimeter down here won't work with the rest of the units that are given in the problem. So what we have to do is convert seven centimeters into meters. And one of the easiest ways to do this is to use the train tracks method of conversion. Using the train tracks method is actually really easy. So you just draw a train track. So one long line with a short line going in the middle. And on the top left corner, you're going to write down the number you are working with. And on the top right corner, you'll just write down the unit you want to keep. So you want to convert centimeters into meters, which is why meters goes on the top right corner of this train track that we've written. Now, what is the relationship between centimeters and meters? One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we'll go ahead and write down 100 centimeters in the denominator of this portion of the train tracks. Now, as I mentioned a little bit ago, this is just fractions getting multiplied together. So you're basically just dividing 7 by 100. So this centimeter here crosses out with that centimeter there. And when you divide 7 by 100, you get 0 0.07 meters. So this is the version of the number we're going to go ahead and use in our problem, E equals HC over lambda. So let's go ahead and plug that in. We're going to go ahead and keep 6.62 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules times seconds and the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second, as is for right now, and divide that by 0 0.07 meters. That way, we can go ahead and cancel out a lot of the units that we're dealing with these meters cancel with those meters, the seconds here cancel with the seconds there, because you have one on top and one on bottom, so it makes it easy to go ahead and just cancel those out, and we're just left with the units of joules, which is exactly what we want to keep. So, to continue this problem, we go ahead and multiply out the numbers in the numerator. So E equals 6.62 times 10 to the power of negative 34, times 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8, which is 1.986 times 10 to the power of negative 25. And the only unit we have left here is joules. So we just write down joules there. Now that number, which is the number in the numerator, is just going to get divided by 0 0.07. So when you divide 1.986 times 10 to the power of negative 25, by 0 0.07, you get a value of 2.837 blah, 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 times 10 to the power of negative 24 joules. So that's going to be the unit associated with this answer. So we can leave it right here. And we don't need to do any more work because we found the energy associated with this particular wavelength. Now, this is a radio wave, so it has a really long wavelength, and it doesn't have a lot of energy, which seeing by this extremely small number, seems to say that we've done the problem correctly.